we need to be cautious but not panicky we don't need to worry so we don't have any data to suggest that this variant jn1 is more severe or it's going to cause more pneumonia or more death aisa koi data nahi hai Let's try to take the normal preventive measures that we are all now familiar with who has said let's keep a watch on it it's a variant of interest it's not a variant of concern at this point no need to panic we need to be cautious but not panicky we don't need to worry because we don't have any data to suggest that this variant jn1 is more severe or it's going to cause more pneumonia or more death aisa koi data nahi hai so i think what we need to do is try to take the normal preventive measures that we are all now familiar with avoid uh, uh, being in a very closed environment with uh, very poor ventilation with lots of people without a mask so do wear a mask if you are in a that type of very close setting because prolonged exposure to somebody who's infected definitely increases the risk of infection try to be in an open space rather than indoor space so have gatherings in in outdoor ventilated places because today is now we are entering into the season of gatherings and um, if you have symptoms please try to avoid going into parties and going into office stay at home take rest wear a mask make sure that you are not coughing and spitting into other people's faces wash your hands regularly and um, of course if you have some warning symptoms and signs like uh, severe fatigue prolonged fever or you are feeling breathless you feel you can't really breathe well then you need to go into the hospital and ma'am do you think this particular variant that is omicron yes so we're all now very familiar with omicron because we've had it for now around 2 years going around i think most of us have also been infected by omicron so it's the uh, same family so not much of change but one or two new mutations which have come up and that's why i think who has said let's keep a watch on it it's a variant of interest it's not a variant of concern so i think we need more data we need to monitor we need to step up the surveillance but uh, at this point no need to panic then what about hospitalization do you think if the hospitalization is going to increase if the number of cases will increase see when number of cases go up then there's always a small percentage of people who need to be hospitalized so if you have 100 people with infection one person will need to be hospitalized if you have 1 lakh people then 100 people need to be hospitalized so that way you know you will uh, see that there's an increase uh, in people getting sick but hopefully it's not going to come to that uh, i think if people put their own personal precautions into place and uh, we follow covid appropriate behavior because it's not only covid we have to realize that there are other respiratory infections circulating now in the winter and therefore <clears throat> these precautions will help us uh, against um, influenza against common cold against all infections so we can stay healthy and do you think the, uh, what about the masking basically masking is not mandatory no it's not mandatory i think it should be voluntary in the sense that people should understand their own risk am i older person do i have diabetes hypertension or do i have chronic lung disease then i must protect myself with a mask also if i am feeling sick i am feeling like i have a cough and cold i should wear a mask to protect others so i think those are all common sense things but we should encourage each other shouldn't laugh at each uh, somebody who's wearing a mask i think it's uh, certainly a good practice in many countries you see that everybody is wearing a mask in the winter months if you go to japan you'll find everyone is wearing a mask especially when they are in public transport so there's nothing wrong with uh, it's a good practice to do that uh, ma'am as we've seen that you know the number of cases of this particular variant jn.1 the number of cases increased during the time of some event event in goa so be, uh, because of the tourism also it is a tourist place do you think at this point rt pcr should be mandatory for the travelers at international airports i don't think uh, you see these are things that the government will put out the guidelines based on uh, you know the trend that they are watching so i think right now it's we have not reached the point where these kind of things have to be put in place maybe we will in a couple of weeks maybe we won't we need to wait and see it all depends on how things turn out obviously the government is keeping a close watch surveillance has been increased uh, all states are on high alert and uh, preparations have been made in case there is a need you know for oxygen beds so it's better to be prepared always and we have to adapt to the changing situation ma'am yesterday there was a meeting so what trend has been noticed if we talk about other countries like 32 to 36 to 40 countries are facing yes i mean it's um, 
similar to what we've seen in the past. You know, one country identifies it, then other countries start reporting it, and then gradually over a period of weeks, if that variant has some properties which make it more transmissible, you'll see it increasing. This is what has happened with JN1. It was 0.1 percent, then it became 1 percent. Now it is 30 percent of all sequences which are globally being deposited in GISAID. From India also now the numbers of sequences will go up because genomic se uh, sequencing has been increased. So uh, it's, it's uh, what is expected. It's nothing unexpected and we knew that COVID will continue.